Hey there, I'm Coach Kyle and welcome to my coaching page. Uh, if you scroll below, you'll find a bunch of details on how online coaching works, comparing you know, why I like online coaching versus in-person coaching, how the payments work, uh, et cetera. Um, but I wanna talk here briefly about my experience. You know, as an on I'm an online running coach. I have a degree in nutrition, yet I've still hired coaches and I'm currently working with somebody right now. And I think that speaks a lot to the benefit of having a, an online coach is when you, your coach has a coach. And you know with myself I have all the I have I have knowledge, I have a degree in nutrition, yet I'm working with a diet coach and with myself with I've you know I've worked with running coaches in the past and it's just nice to have an outside point of view. It's just nice to be told what to do. You don't have to think about it. There's no analysis paralysis. There's no, you know, the ego wants you to run faster, harder, longer. But, you know, me as a coach, my number one job is to keep you healthy and injury free. Because if that, if, if I don't do that, then I don't, I don't have a job. And this is what I do for a living full time. And I just got off a call with a client of mine in Alabama, and we took her from no running to you know a half hour of running. Then we're going to introduce some strides and some fart licks and get her you know into 5K racing fitness. And she said that uh, it's just nice. She said it's nice to have it all laid out. She doesn't have to think about it. She you know she wakes up in the morning. She can see her schedule. Is it a run day? Is it a rest day? what strength work is on cue for the day. Um, and the nice thing is with that that investment in that coach, investing in me, um, high, highly increases the chances of doing strength work, of getting out and running when it's raining, of true, you know, doing true easy runs, not running too hard too often. Um, if something's not feeling right, I'm going to tell you to rest for three days and jump on the elliptical. Uh, there's, you're not going to run through any niggles with me. Um, we're going to keep it, keep it safe. And part of, you know, like with me having a diet coach, like I, I have a degree. I literally went to school for nutrition. Um, I know what to do. I know what I need to do to lose. I've been the same weight for the last decade and it'd be nice. I have some I have a few body fat percentage points I could lose that would probably help my my future racing. And I've just been unable to do it by myself. I mean, I know what to do, but having me invest money into a coach uh, is going to drastic, it's drastically improving my diet. I mean, I know that I need to eat less than 2,200 calories a day. I know I need to get in at least 100 grams of protein every day, but I just, I can't, I haven't been able to do it by myself consistently and frequently for a long period of time. Whereas w with this new diet coach that I have, I've, I'm investing money in this. She's investing time and energy uh, into helping me. She's, she's looking at my diet log. She's giving me tips and tricks and like, try this. Oh, you've never done this before? try this recipe, you know, okay, wh what are we going to do this week that will improve upon, you know, like what was, we, we do check-ins, you know, what was a win or two from the last week? What went really well? What didn't go so well over the last week? What are we going to do next week to improve upon this? These are all things that I do with my own running clients as well. Uh, these are things that you don't get when you just download a free pre-written schedule from, from halhigdon.com, which is usually where I recommend people go if they want a free schedule. Um, so that, that, you know, that investment with people that I work with, uh, I'm plugging in strength work. I'm plugging in easy runs, rest days. I'm, you know, I have clients who I ask them to text me a selfie from the treadmill at night to make sure they get that run in. Cause it's hard, you know, the activation energy is high for running, especially if the weather's not great. But once you do it, once you start, you're gonna be glad you did. You have to have empathy with your future self. Your future self is gonna be pleased that you went for that run. Um, 
I talk to a lot of people and they come to me because they're frustrated because they get on the, the, the cycle where they get really excited. They sign up for a race, they get a training schedule, they do it for a few weeks, something happens and they fall off the bandwagon and it all goes to hell. Um, that happens a lot. I, I get a lot of people that come to me and they've been frustrated because they feel like no pre-written schedule fits what they need exactly. I, I say the, the schedule should follow you, not the other way around. So when I update training logs, it's on a weekly, a bi-weekly basis. Um, some, some people literally put their work schedule into the training calendar so I can work around their work schedule. Um, so there's that motivation, that accountability. I'm checking in on you. Um, if you don't, if you don't run for three days, I'm going to ask what's up. I, I had a client of mine. Uh, he said something really, really powerful uh, a few weeks ago, and he said that he had a long run scheduled for that day, and he spent the first eight miles of the long run trying to think of an excuse to give to Coach Kyle as to why he did 16 instead of 18 miles. But then he got to mile 16. Couldn't come up with an excuse to give me, so he ran the 18, and what do you know, he was so glad he did. And he was proud of himself because he did it. Uh, but he told me, you know, chances are if he would have just been following a tr random training schedule, he probably would have just ran the 16 because, you know, that free training schedule doesn't care if you run 16 instead of 18. Uh, it doesn't care if you skip a, an easy run here and there because it was only three miles. But those three miles add up over time. That consistency is important. So investing in a coach, having somebody like me, you know, monitor your training, make sure you're doing the appropriate run frequency, consistency, volume, checking in on your diet, race strategy, you know, running nutrition planning, you know, working out gear selection, you know, should you take a bottle, should you use a hydration pack, all this stuff. It's st things that we talk about. And the nice thing is that I, I know exactly what your training is. I know what you're doing so I can offer personalized, appropriate advice. Um, that's another benefit of you know working with somebody closely, having them watch you and monitor you is that not only do they hold you back when you need to be held back, they push you forward when you need to be pushed forward, but they're, they're there for appropriate, smart advice because they know what you're doing. They know what your hindrances are. They know what your struggles are. They know what, they know what you want to do and why. And all of this works together to create a, a really good relationship uh, with not only coach-client relationship, but also a good relationship with you and your running and your body and feeling well about what you're doing, what you're going to do, and the process to get there. So that's that's a lot about, you know, why and how having an online running coach works and, you know, why, why I've found so much joy in having online running coaches and being an online running coach. I get to help people do what brings them joy better. And that's that's a really cool thing to do. So I hope that you take the time to check out this page. Um, get the, Hit the contact form, get a hold of me. Let's, let's just talk. Let's see what, what we can do together. Uh, like with me and my diet coach, you know, I've been trying for a couple of years. I, I know I, I, I need to lose if I lost a few more percentage body fat points, I'd probably run a little better. And I wish I would have done it sooner. Um, you know, if I would have done it two years ago, I'd be I'd be at a better racing weight. And I'd probably have I probably would have ran a little better last year. Um, and I wouldn't have to do it now. So uh, don't make my mistake. If, you, if you're having any considerations, if you're having any hesitations, just do it. Um, I wish I would have done it sooner with my diet coach. Um, and I, I, I don't want to hear from you in six months and say, Kyle, I was at your website last year, six months ago, whatever. And I decided to try it on my own and it didn't quite work out. So, you know, don't waste the time. You're, you're investing a lot of time and energy and money into whatever racing goals you have. And I firmly, obviously, I firmly believe that having a coach is almost like it's insurance against, it lowers your injury risk, it improves, it improves your racing strategy and hopefully outcome. And um, just don't wait. 
I don't want to hear from you six months from now and saying that you wish you would have done it and you had a poor race. Um, let's just have a good race and let's get started. So contact me, get a hold of me, let's do it and it'll be worth it. It'll be fun, I promise. Just hit that contact button.